All right, I'm going to start a video on the ratchet plate. First thing I do is go start a 2D sketch. I'm going to sketch it on the XY plane. I'm going to start off by drawing a circle, and I'm going to snap it to the origin and constrain it. I'm going to go ahead and uh, place a dimension on there, and then I'm going to specify the dimension to be a 6-inch diameter. Zoom out. I'm going to draw another circle. The second circle is going to be a 5-inch diameter. All right, now to get the, the uh, teeth on here, they are 20 degrees spaced apart. So I like to start in this 3 o'clock uh, position. I'm just going to draw a line in here, snap from quadrant to quadrant, 3 o'clock to 3 o'clock on each circle. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just draw a line. I'm going to snap it from the origin and just draw a line on any angle and pretty much any length. The next thing I'll do is I'll put a dimension on these two lines and I'll specify that dimension to be 20 degrees. Okay. Now I'm going to trim it up and clean everything up here. So go ahead and trim this out, trim this out. Hit escape. I'm going to draw a line. I'm going to snap from this point here to this point here. All right, so the next thing I want to do is I want to delete this line. Just go ahead and choose that line, hit delete on your keyboard, and you're left with just these two lines here that's going to represent one tooth. So the next thing I want to do is I want to do a circular pattern. A lot of people ask me about how to do a circular pattern. So you have a uh, tool panel up here for pattern. There's different patterns here, but we want circular. So you pause on there, that's your circular pattern. So let's go ahead and click that. The geometry that we want to pattern is those two lines that represent the tooth. And then we want to choose the origin that it's going to pattern around and the number. And then we want 360 degrees for the angle. But the number here is going to be 18. You count how many teeth that you have on that ratchet plate. There's 18 teeth. Now, one other thing that I want you to do is I want you to expand this box out. And later on here, we're going to want to be able to individually edit some things. So uncheck this associative box. This will allow us to individually edit some things. Okay. So hit it. Okay. And now you can see that we have our circular pattern. Now, uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to delete these circles that we have. Those circles, we just needed them to get us started. Okay. Now, I have this. Uh, kind of like saw tooth looking thing. There is a problem with it. All right, if I finish sketch and I try to go to extrude, watch what happens. The profile that I select, it's not all joined together. So we need to make sure that we join all these points together. That's one issue on this particular project, the way I do it. So I actually want to introduce a different approach here. So we can use a tool that's called the Sketch Doctor. And the Sketch Doctors is kind of neat, but we need to get back into the Edit Sketch. When, you're, when you are in Edit Sketch mode, right click on that sketch up in the browser and drop down, you're going to find Sketch Doctor. Now in here, you're going to click on Diagnose Sketch and you're going to see all kind of problems. It has redundant points, missing coincident constraints, open loops, things of that nature. Now there's really nothing that we did wrong. It's just the, the part got, the geometry got all broken up. So we're going to click OK and click Next. And you're going to see that all these points, they are not coincident with one another. So we're going to make that happen. So we're going to hit Next and it says select a treatment. Combine sketch points. That is what we want to do. So we're going to hit finish. You're going to get a warning here. It's going to say, would you like to combine the highlighted sketch points into a single point? We're going to click on yes. And notice how it highlights them all. So you actually got to keep, keep clicking yes, 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 till it goes through every single one of those points. Now it seems like kind of a redundant thing, but that makes this work. So when you're complete with that, finish your sketch. Go to extrude, and you're going to notice that it will extrude. 
So the extruded distance here is 0 0.125. Click OK. Now, we just have the, uh, the saw blade, the sawtooth blade. The next thing I want to do is I'm going to cut in that, that uh, internal hole in the keyway. So watch how I do that. I'm going to click on 2D Sketch. I'm going to click on this plane. I'm going to draw a circle that represents the diameter of that, that bore. So we're going to go and apply a dimension on here. That particular dimension is 1.25 in diameter. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go in here. And we're going to sketch out what we call a keyway. So watch how we have to do this. We're going to reference that keyway in the center here. I'm going to start from the 12 o'clock position of this circle. And I'm going to draw my line up. And I could have given it the length right off the bat, but I always do it afterwards. So the height of that's going to be an eighth of an inch, 0.125. Now it's important to note that the 0.125, the eighth inch, is referenced from the middle, not from the end. So that line, if it was an eighth of an inch long out on these ends, it'll, it'll be different. So reference that eighth inch height from the middle. Now, the next thing that you could do is draw a line from that point. You could draw it out. Being that it needs to be a quarter of an inch wide, you can cut that in half because we're in the middle and draw your line an eighth of an inch out. You can draw it and then dimension it. Or you could key in the dimension right off the bat. So eighth inch out. Same way with this line going over here. Make this line and dimension it an eighth of an inch out. One, two, five. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to take that endpoint, snap to that endpoint, draw down. Notice how I draw my lines kind of wild. Draw them a little bit longer than they need to be. So I'm going to come in and actually trim that excess, trim that out, trim that out, trim that out. And I'm actually going to delete this middle line now. So I delete it on the keyboard. All right, so if you wanted to, you could delete these dimensions and then reset and make your dimension the way it should be, a quarter of an inch, the way it should read. Now, I'm actually going to place a dimension from the midpoint to the height of this. Now, notice that it does constrain it. it turns it purple, and it does constrain it. Now, these vertical lines, you could constrain them, but I think we're going to be fine here. I'm going to finish my sketch, extrude cut, that keyhole out, change the direction, hit all, make sure it's on cut, and there we go. That is your ratchet plate with the circular pattern, and that's the way you want to do your keyhole, your keyway. Okay, thank you.